Welcome to Red Carpet TV Nigeria. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. For coverage of events, you can call any of the numbers in the description box. Thank you and enjoy our videos. A great leader is a force for good. A leader inspires people and helps people reach their goals. Each time one meets the Akitu State Governor, His Excellency Dr. John Kayode Fayemi, there is always a priceless lesson. Hmm, he is obviously the reason for the pearly words of Ralph Waldo Emerson. Which says, if we encounter a man of rare intellect, we should ask him how he improves himself through learning. More that as a great leader, through great education, exposure, and continuous learning, Fayami's development as a leader advances the argument that leaders are born and leaders can be made. Through his days at Radio Kudurat, his first time as governor, his stint as Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and his second coming to the saddle as Governor of Ekitu State, Fayemi has shown clear vision through innovative approaches to governance, courage, integrity, honesty, humility and clear focus. As a man in public life, he is more than an inspiration given his far-sighted economic policies for economic growth and social protection for the vulnerable. It was therefore not surprising that Ekita State and by extension the entire nation got locked up as guests from far and wide locked down the entire land of Anna for three days from Friday the 7th to Sunday the 9th of February 2020 to celebrate Dr. John Kayode Fayemi, a leader who is surely taking Ekita State on a ride to the path of hypermodernity on the occasion of his 55th birthday. Beginning from the Friday 8, 2020, goodwill messages from well-meaning individuals poured in at every given interval. The Nigerian police band were at their best, serenading the guests to nice times. were equally happy with the rich array of cuisines available for them to relish. There was also a novelty match played in the celebrant's honor at the Oluyemi Kayode Stadium at Doikiti. Other aerobic and weightlifting spots were also up for contest. Later that night, guests relaxed as artists relieved educating and historical experiences with a theme that centered on the narratives of life times and historic stances of one of the progenitors from Ikiti land, the late Colonel Adekunle Fadri. <laughs> the climax of the birthday celebration was on Sunday, February 9, 2020, as guests arrived at the Adoikiti Government House Chapel for a Thanksgiving Mass. Two 
twos, threes and groups guests arrived at the house of the Lord and in no time the entire dome of the chapel was filled to the brim. Lovely hymns initiated by the choristers dominated the entire atmosphere. <laughs> Centering is only on the importance of thanksgiving, the Catholic Diocesan Bishop of Oyo State, the Most Reverend Emmanuel Badejo, gave worthy kudos to the celebrant. The Lord has needed to leave Oyo today to come and give thanks to God in Adoikiti. If not, that Almighty God has decided to keep our governor in safety and in good health for 55 years. And if he had not continued to do wonderful things through him. So it is good to thank God who made you and has kept you going every minute of your life. May he take all the glory and praise for this occasion forever and ever. Amen. has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. From the Sanctus, the Pater Nostra, Agnus Dei, the Communion, and other properties of Catholicism followed in quick succession. With a team of excellence, the choir had a special rendition for the celebrant. The Thanksgiving session followed as everyone danced forward to rejoice with the celebrant and his family. In his remarks, the elated celebrant was full of thanks to God and was also appreciative to everyone who has come to rejoice with him. not by my power, it's not by my brilliant, just as just cast his light upon me and he has blessed me with extraordinary favor. Turning 55 for a child that was named Fallon on shore. Those who come from Yoruba land would know the implications of naming a child foreign shop after losing two siblings in quick succession before I came. You can understand my parents wondering if this one would stay and praying that, well, we leave him in the hands of God. And it is that God that is still watching over me. To God, before all of you, today once again is that my life for the rest of it shall continue to be dedicated to the service of God Almighty and humanity. Guests then made their way to a giant white maki situated in a corner of the government house grounds for the reception. <laughs> There, everything looked immaculate and splendid. The decor, which was impeccable and dazzling, featured a host of eye-popping sights. From the dripping chandeliers to the sparkling celebrant's turret, the alluring flowery designs, the lovely tree-step cake, the beautiful cupcakes, and the exquisite wine stand, 
Everything Shua caught the attention of the revelers, making the aura an admirable one. The party, which is arguably the best in recent times in Ekiti State and beyond, with the array of eminent guests and the parade of influential VVIP class, was one that was warm and welcoming, especially with the accompaniment of good music and cool tunes from the saxophone of Orukoto Emmanuel, popularly known as Emmy Sax. The hugs and the pats, the chairs and the camaraderie from these reputable personalities from all walks of life was further compounded by the hilarious judge emanating from the master compare Benga Deinka the first. The afternoon was also for intellectual discourse as there was a round table discussion and book presentation with a brief symposium as scholars and resource persons from national and international bodies sat as panelists to discuss leadership security and development with this they talked in unison about the trajectory of the leadership capacity and impact of kayode fayemi john kayode fayemi governor of the kitty state of Moluabi. he has interpersonal relationship with every governor of nigeria irrespective of party affiliation to me and him we have worked closely from across the divides i assure you that we are having implicit confidence in our leader as chair of the Nigeria Governors Forum and he's been doing incredibly well. A person who is very accommodating, who knows where to make a proper rushma where necessary. Very, very patriotic. The book was unveiled on behalf of all of us, the governors of parties, five states of Nigeria, now including the state. We hereby unveil and present this book titled Swimming Against the Tide. And the cake was cut. An iconic leader, a quintessential administrator, and an accomplished personality with a Midas touch. Fayami was the governor of Ekito State in the first term between 2010 and 2014. He was later made the Minister for Solid Minerals Development. He contested and won as Ekito State Governor for the second time in 2018. Ekito State under him have had the world best practice in governance. His achievements have been overwhelming as his governance have been hinged on four pillars of social investment, knowledge economy, infrastructure and industrial development, as well as agriculture and rural development. Today, he is the poster boy of inclusive democracy in Nigeria, being the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum. These enviable attributes about the personality of the celebrant was why the Ondo State Governor Arakonri Oluwarotin Miyakebedolu in his toast affirmed that Ekiti State was richly blessed in having as their governor the person of Kayade Fayemi. He's a true leader. Ekiti State, you have somebody you should be proud of. To have John Kayode Fayemi as your governor is a pride for all of you, because all of us are proud of him as a governor and as a chairman. I will say this, that great friends, great friends are few and far between. Harry, you are not just a great friend. You are a friend forever a brother for always. <laughs> Of thanks, 
the wife of the celebrant, Ewelu Bisi Fayemi, was full of thanks to everyone. My daddy was bad. Oh, I have constantly loved to humanity for quite a while now. I love you dearly. I give thanks to God Almighty for your life, for all the grace you have received, for all the mercy that you have received. I pray for you every single day that your star, which continues to shine like the brightest in the firmament, will never grow dim. And that the primal interpreters that you are, first amongst equals, you will never go back. Thank you for being such a wonderful husband, for being such a great father, and for being such a great leader. Ishe Oluwa from there, the treasures band took over as they dished out endlessly lovely music which guests danced to non-stop till evening time. <laughs> Red Carpet TV spoke with some guests. No. He's a, an excellent man. He's somebody that people should look up to because the attitude, the way he's leading, whatever that he's doing, he lead people to the good way and everybody loves him. With the short period I know him, I think he's a wonderful person. He's a man of grace. He's a man of grace. You, you saw that he, you were there when he said he, he lost an opportunity of a second time. God give it back to him. And now he's even better. It was like the time of his directum was the time of training for him. He's coming out smoking now, so that we are expecting him to go to the next level by the grace of God. Some more knowledge, more intelligence. And in all progress and closeness to God Almighty. Very hard working man, very energetic, very cerebral, highly informed, and uh, is committed to the cause of uh, the downtrodden. Uh, we are very proud of him in the city, and it's our prayer that God Almighty will continue to do with him, that God will grant him a long life, and sound health, uh, is destined for greatness, and uh, no matter what the enemy wants, he will attain the height that God has destined him. We are very proud of him. God will grant him long life with good health and, uh, and with peace of the mind. And apart from that, there is always in, in the Nigerian constitution, he has, he still has many, many uh, lofty heights before him, in which I believe God will grant him the grace to be able to do what he has been doing and which is affecting lives bringing about turning around to its uh, environment. I wish JKF, our boss, our scout, our leader, many operators of the day, they will live to celebrate 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, 100 years old. And I will be alive to witness it. I've been a beneficiary of God's generosity of spirit. I, I really don't think much in terms of challenges. Because for me, challenges are opportunities by God to make a difference in the lives of human beings. So, if you'd allow me, let's just focus on the work of God to improve the condition of our society and country. From all of us at Red Carpet TV, we join millions of well wishes in celebrating Dr. John Olukaya Defayemi, a man of honor from the land of honor, on the occasion of his 55th birthday. And we pray that as new age, we are rather the newness of vision, vigor, and vehemence in his determination to steer the ship of Ekitu State 
and her people to enviable heights. <laughs> for watching red carpet tv nigeria don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel